do you know the value of root of 19 plus root 360 minus root 19 minus root 360? It's actually a simple answer. Let's take a look. To address this problem, I do not like the fact that there is a root wrapped around these two numbers. So I need to get rid of it by squaring. But before I do that, I'm going to let all of this be eggs. So I'm going to square it. So I get x squared is the square of everything on the inside. Now, how do we square a bracket with two terms inside? Well, it's actually very simple. We square the first term. When you square this, it just gets rid of the root. So we'll be left with x squared is 19 plus root 360. And then you square the second term, regardless of the sign here. It will be 19 minus root 360. And then we multiply these two together and then duplicate it. Now, when you multiply these together, it's going to be a negative. And when you multiply them, the root being common is going to wrap around the product of these two. So you get 19 plus root 360 times 19 minus root 360. But don't forget, we need to duplicate it. Now, over here, when you add these up, the root 360 goes. 19 plus 19 is 38 minus two lots of the root of. Now, you should notice something here. This is the difference of two squares. They're the exact same bracket with one plus, one minus. So the middle terms will cancel when you expand. So all we need to do is 19 times 19, which is 361. Subtract root 360 times root 360, which when you square root 360, the root goes, you're left with 360, which means we're just left with uno. So we get x squared is 38 minus two lots of the root of one. The root of one is just one. Two times one is two. So we get x squared is 36. So we get x is plus or minus 6. However, this value is larger than this one. So when you subtract them, the answer needs to be positive. So since x needs to be bigger than 0, x is actually 6. Nice and simple. Nice. <laughs> Save this video and share it with a friend who you think would benefit from this information.